They were eaten! Megalodon! Ah! Aranax to Rover, come in! Aranax to Rover! Dad, come on, answer! Aranax to Rover, come in! Will, Fontaine, we're coming. Talk to me. Where are they? Uh, 2.1 nautical miles ahead, bearing 117. We're closing fast. Rover to Aranax, can you hear me? Dad, Will, why weren't you answering? We're inside a Megalodon. Holding on to its gill. We're slipping. Full thrusters. Gust! Yes! Got it! We're stable for the moment. But there's a constant flow of water pressing against us, Mom. We can't fight against it. We can't force our way out. We'll be there in 30 seconds. We'll try to hold on. If we keep slipping... Mom, please hurry! Should be getting close to a visual. Wow! Incredible! So cool! It's immense! Maybe 40 meters long! We're coming up on it now. Understood. What have you got? That thing should have been extinct for 2.6 million years. Something practical, Ant. Uh, oh, its closest living relative is the great white shark. Megalodon was the single biggest predator on the planet. We're listening here. Was that supposed to cheer us up? Related to the Great White. Great Whites are constantly moving, remember? So what? So the water flow isn't gonna stop! Which means we can't get out? Unless we can stop the Megalodon from moving. Listen, these things would never expect anything to challenge them head on. I don't think crashing into it is gonna stop it from swallowing half our family. No, we turn off our lights, then come at it head on, fast. And at the last second, we blast it with the lights, strobes, everything. So we'd shock it and stop it without hurting it. And hopefully, the rover would be able to get out. Uh-huh. It's a big gamble. It sounds like the only gamble we have. Okay, and turn off the lights. I'll get us ahead of this creature. We both need to time this perfectly, so be ready, Ant. Accelerating. I'll wait till the last second. Will and Fontaine, when it stops, hopefully it will open its mouth, then gun your engine. Okay, Fontaine, be ready to let go with the arms. I'm ready. Get ready, Ant. Huh? Proximity alert! What? There's something else out there! Mom! It's another group! It's another Megalodon!
Not you. sure we can hold out for much longer. Don't lose hope. We're trying not to. Okay, new plan. We get a steel cable. Super strong. Excellent choice. And we loop it around the Megalodon. Once it's fastened, we reverse the Aranax and bring the shark to a stop. Wait, wait, wait. You want to lasso a Megalodon? It sounds crazy, doesn't it? Um, yeah. But it's times like these I know are related. It's brilliant! Come on! to get that close, uh, to loop it over. You're not going out. In the Magnite, it's the strongest. I'm going along with your plan here, but you need a knight. I'll go out. Mom, you need to pilot the Aranax. I'm not that skilled, and Jeffrey is an amateur at best. It's hard to drive a submarine when you don't have opposable thumbs. No one pilots better than you, so it has to be me out there. Oh, I absolutely hate it. Dad and Fontaine need it to happen, now. What if the other Megalodon gets involved? It's clearly protecting its mate. If it spots me, I'll get out of there. <sighs> Please stay safe. This better work, big guy. I'm leaving this channel open. You'll need to move fast when we do this. Uh, we have a giant shark stomach behind us as motivation. We'll move faster than we ever have before. Count on it. Excellent. Then we'll release the cable before the animal gets hurt. And let's do this. Getting into position now. Okay, Ant, I'm moving closer. Just right. Okay, dropping in five, four, three, two, one. Uh-oh, he knows I'm here. Do we have an even bigger night? Be ready, stay alert. It's not like I'm relaxing here, Dad. And are you all right? Am I all right? I'm riding an extinct mega monster! This could be the single greatest moment of my life! <laughs> and half of your family is about to be eaten! And working on saving you.
Ready to grab the rover. Hold on. This could get bumpy. Huh. That wasn't so bad. I haven't started yet. What? Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, Fontaine. Does my face look like a cushion to you? The kids are in bed, but Ant isn't sleeping. He's probably too excited about chasing squid tomorrow. Can you pass me the torque wrench? I need a torque wrench. This is an impact driver. You should go. Get some sleep. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. I'll be done here soon. And then I'll be straight up after I've replaced that faulty light bulb on the bridge. It's just bugging me. Professor Fiction was pretty insistent that we don't touch anything electrical on the Aranex until he's completed a thorough analysis. I think I can handle a light bulb. Will, this isn't your field. You know how I know? Because you just handed me a can opener. <laughs> I must be really tired. Um, I'm not doubting that you can change the bulb. Just promise me you won't, okay? I'll think about it. <sighs> See, Will? Nothing went wrong. <gasps> Come out! You went in easily enough. I just had a nightmare about the sun exploding. You messed with that light bulb after promising not to? I didn't. You didn't touch it. No, I didn't promise not to. Ugh. Jeffrey's tank aerator just went into overdrive. I think he's had too much oxygen. <gasps> you didn't touch anything electrical, did you? Don't worry. As soon as I find the right tool, I'll undo the... Aranax, this is me. Oh, <laughs> Professor Fiction. Keiko, I've got a readout somewhere indicating the Aranax experienced an anomalous surge. You didn't touch anything electrical, did you? Well, I... No, I... Okay, yes, but I only changed a tiny, really tiny light bulb. And now every single light in the entire sub has the brightness of a thousand suns. I'm changing it back. Don't touch it! The circuitry's too unstable. Any power surge, however small, might have unpredictable consequences. Oh, come on. It's just a light bulb. Should we be heading back to base? Oh, there you are. Uh, hmm, according to this, you should be fine. Just don't put the electrics under any more stress. Don't worry, we won't touch a thing. Will we, Keiko? It's the collision alarm. Something's coming at us. Sorry, Professor, gotta go. It's the whale I'm tracking. It's swimming in wild zigzags. There are other objects. Must be the rest of the pod. Uh, it's too bright in here. I can't see anything out the window. They're coming straight at us. Activate the shield! No way! Hold on! Ah! Yeah. The outside camera! You gotta rewind that footage! Everyone all right? Uh, sorry, Fontaine. It was an accident. Don't worry. I'll live. Any damage to the sub? Running diagnostics now. Whoa! Are those tentacles around the whale? There were sucker marks on the whale before. A colossal squid was fighting the whale, trying to escape being eaten. It would explain why the whale crashed into us, and why Mom fell on my face. <laughs> <sighs> no sign of the whale. That was a huge impact. Hope it's okay. It looks like the whale is still swimming. <gasps> Listen. <sighs> I never get tired of that sound. It can't be badly hurt. It's probably still fighting the colossal squid. Oh, please don't make me wait till morning to follow it. This might be our best chance to observe a colossal squid. Keiko? Impact took out the outside cameras, and we've lost comms to the surface. But nothing bad enough to stop us from making history. Yes! Besides, it's way too bright in here to sleep.
So, if the whale sings when it hunts, wouldn't that scare off its prey? You'd think so. Jeffrey's scared every time he hears me sing. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'm scared every time I hear you sing, too. Could be how the whales hunt. The squid flees the singing right to where the rest of the pod's waiting. Boom! Ambush! Something's ahead. Big, and it's not moving. It's not the whale. Can we get the floodlights up? It might cause another electrical surge. We need to know what's out there, Gecko. You're right, but only minimum power. And we just lost power to the fridge. Something else for fiction to fix. See anything, Ant? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That's bigger than anything that's ever washed up on a beach. Stop. You are not going anywhere. But my whole mission's been to get video of one of these animals in the wild. You let us go out there with a huge sperm whale. And look how that turned out. It's not moving at all. I don't think it's alive. Ant can drive the rover. I'll record. <gasps> You'll come? I'm not gonna miss out. And if you drive, it'll be your pocket money if something does go wrong. We haven't said yes yet. <clears throat> Mom, Dad, going back many generations, the Necton family has always passed on. I cannot believe Mom and Dad bought your cheesy, you raised me to be a Necton speech. Uh, what can I tell you? It's a gift. We can still hear you, you know. <laughs> You're out there because we agreed that a dead thing probably won't hurt you. Also, that cheesy speech was pretty good. Wow! Incredible! I wonder what happened to it. Possibly the fight with a whale? Did that tentacle just move? Eh, probably just the current. I don't think it's the current. Look, there! I don't see anything. Play it again. It's alive! Ah! Ed, Fontaine, get back to the Aranex, now! Ah! 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 It's eating us! Wow, look at the size of those suckers! And use the camera! We've got to record this. Are you kidding me? It's squeezing. Do something. I am. I don't mean record. This is terrifying. Stop being filled with wonder. Will, what's your plan? I have no idea. We need a way to repel it. Uh, I could try singing. Really? This thing is dragging us into the darkest depths of the ocean, and you... That's it! Thank you, Montaigne! Mom, we need the floodlights up to full power. The squid lives in the dark. It has the largest eyes in the world. It'll never handle that much light. Working on it. Don't surge, don't surge, don't surge! <laughs> All okay? Yeah, and we got it on video. That's a world first. More importantly, nobody fell on my face. <laughs> uh oh, the floodlights caused the air scrubbers to fail. Kids, get back ASAP. We need to surface if we want to keep breathing air. If they were waiting for us in the dark, you know what this means? Um, surprise party? They're intelligent. They, they work together. That one must have been playing dead to catch us. Wow. I'm not so impressed by being hunted. But we know they hate light. Get us into the light before... Uh, it's got us. Hold on. It's blocking our light. Is it doing that on purpose? More squid are coming. Accelerate when I say. 